top 10 modern age chase figures coming right up. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the ROC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, the Lucky Dice Cafe has the winning role for all your gaming needs. You can visit them at LuckyDiceCafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Alright guys, it's time for another Hero Clicks Top 10 video. Today we are doing the Top 10 Best modern age change chase figures uh, these are just my opinions um, so feel free to in the comments below list your favorite chase figures that are modern age um, so let's go ahead and get this flipped around uh, so that you guys can see what I'm looking at and get this video started alright so here we are at hcrealms.com in their unit section and we're gonna take a look at some figures so up first on this list we have mini shredder for um, TMNT3 uh, he is 90 points has a 7 movement with a special, 11 attack with precision strike, 18 defense with toughness and indomitability, 2 damage with um, empower, and the tiny symbol. He has one tra uh, two traits, one is called Mystical Worms. When Mini Shredder would be KO'd for the first time each game, instead turn him to click number 4 and an opposing and an opponent places them adjacent to one of their characters. This can't be ignored. Um, so basically you got to get through all seven clicks then they come back on click four and you got to deal with it all over again um, So you got to KO it twice um, Then he has another trait called Shredder Elite. Mini Shredder can use sidestep when he moves after action resolves deal one penetrating damage to each Adjacent opposing character that wasn't adjacent at the beginning of the move um, so again uh, really cool they're able to deal penetrating damage you know getting through impervious invulnerability toughness a bunch of things this is a really popular strategy to do with him is basically you hit with them but not hit with them um, it's sort of like a uh, modern age lamp if I was gonna say anything uh, and the special on his movement is mini shredder can use plasticity and stealth um, so all really good there uh, this I would say is probably the best shredder to have on a shredders team which is why he's on this list next up on this list we have star frogs from Avengers infinity number 48 uh, so this is me eating a little bit of crow because I said on his own this guy um, wasn't so great um, when he was uh, first seen but uh, as it would appear, I was quite wrong. Uh, 80 points, power cosmic, 8 range single target, 12 movement with phasing teleport, 12 attack, 18 defense with um, super senses, 3 damage with special. Has a couple traits. Uh, first one is cosmic entity. Star Fox can't be the target of an attack with more than one target. So really cool there. Able to protect himself from multi-target basically. Uh, then he has another trait called the, the fourth virtue of life. Passion. Flurry. Once per turn when Star Fox attacks. Attack roll has a four. After resolution heal each friendly character. One, one click if they're adjacent to another friendly character. So really cool there. Able to mass heal a whole team. Uh, he has Avengers and Cosmic. Uh, keywords which are really good and Eternals obviously means you can put them on um, Unimind for that uh, flurry to bring to the table. Uh, then he has a special on his damage which is called I appreciate the desire to improve the flow of energy uh, which is perplexed but only to modify a value other than damage plus two. So he can essentially get his own attack up to 14 which is just crazy and then uh, with Mjolnir uh, flurry away at an eight range uh, for six damage. Uh, this guy's just, he's really good on his own. I don't know why I didn't see it. Uh, he has a stop click at the end of his dial that's stop and mastermind and he has PC. Um, so I wouldn't say he's a uh, main attacker, although some people have used him that way um, with really good success. Um, but in my mind, he's almost a secondary attacker, but he does almost have a first tier attacker, a first tier attacker point value in uh, today's game. But definitely needed to be on this list next up on this list we have beta ray bill from the mighty thor set um he has uh, two different point lines one at 125 and one at 225 uh starts off with a four range dual target uh and it can be equipped with Stormbreaker at the beginning of the game which gives him an extra two range gives him force blast gives him quake um or not force blast energy explosion uh gives him quake and that extra two range so actually he ends up with a six range dual target uh, and then he has uh, another one, another trait called Corbinite DNA. Beta Ray Bill can reduce penetrating damage. 
Um, so those mini shredders we just talked about, he can reduce the penetrating damage. Um, Psychic blast, he can reduce penetrating damage. Um, so it's just it's really good. Uh, then he has a special on his last click on his defense, which is called Aided by Scuttlebutt. Stop regeneration toughness. When Beta Ray Bill is given a move action after resolution, he can use regeneration at no cost. So you're able to phasing teleport away, uh, heal up, and then get back in the fight. So really cool there. That stop click's really really helpful. Um, just a really handy click to have there. And then uh, his last special on his damage is called Weather Manipulation. Probability control. Opposing characters can't target Beta Ray Bill or friendly characters adjacent to him unless they begin their turn within four squares of their target or are making a close attack. So again, uh, we're denying range and he's reducing penetrating damage and he's just he's a really good figure all all around and he's been right on the cusp of, of being on some really good teams um but not quite there yet but he is just he is phenomenal stormbreaker makes him amazing and stormbreaker is just a good a good object to have in general next up on this list we have hawkeye from avengers defenders war um he's 65 points has an eight range single target seven movement with a special 11 attack with precision strike 16 defense with um energy shield deflection and two damage has improved targeting ignores hindering terrain ignores characters and the special on his movement is called rapid fire trick shooting hawkeye can use running shot each time Hawkeye hits an opposing character with a ranged attack after action resolves. He can use running shot again as a free action, but only to target a character that wasn't attacked this turn. So basically you can attack an entire opponent's team um, in one turn with him if you're able to hit with all your attacks. Um, and in the age of pogs, uh, this guy's just really good at wiping, um, wiping another team. And he's just been he's been really good ever since he came out. So definitely needed to be on this list. Next up on this list, we have Captain America, also from Avengers Defenders War. This is Sam Cap, uh, Samantha Wilson. She is 70 points, has a four range single target, uh, seven movement with charge, 11 attack with super strength, 18 defense with combat reflexes and indomitability. Two damage with perplex uh, her one trait is world war ii pilot if captain america is being carried modify the character carrying character speed value plus three if captain america has no action tokens she can be given a non-free action after being carried uh, so the main thing with her is you just use her for alpha strikes you carry her all the way across the field then she charges in um, with a heavy object and a perplexed up uh, you know attack or damage to get her up to a, a five damage or, or a 12 attack um, it's a really good strategy she's been really popular ever since since she came out with good reason uh, she's got the shield keyword and the soldier keyword uh, both of which are still pretty good next up we have avengers defenders war ironheart and uh this avengers defenders war set was just really good the ch uh, half the chases were phenomenal and the other half were still pretty good so um, these were the, the phenomenal ones from that list. Uh, she's 25 points, has a four range single target, a nine movement with sidestep and the flight ability, 10 attack, 18 defense, two damage with um, outwit. Um, now she does have a plethora of um, support powers and her uh, trait is armor falling apart on me. Ironheart begins the game with one broken armor token. When she is dealt damage instead, roll a d6 that can't be rerolled. If the result is equal to or less than the number of broken armor tokens she is ko'd um if not ignore uh if not turn her to that click number and give her another broken armor token this can't be ignored um so you have the potential to be able to hit her like six times um and have her uh, not be ko'd this is um really like we had some hard to ko figures before but this is like really the start of, like the lock jaws and the the uh haha -ha jokers and stuff like that she was really the predecessor of all those um and for only 25 points had fabulous um fabulous support powers has the scientist keyword uh, just a good pick all around next up on this list we have elseworlds chase green arrow uh this guy was the bane of unimind's existence for a while as well as a bunch of other figures 
Um, and uh, just, I mean, with general good reason, uh, he's 80 points, has an 8 range single target, has a 10 movement with lead climb, 12 attack with a special, 17 defense with um, combat reflexes and indomitability, 3 damage with range combat expert, has improved targeting, ignores elevated terrain, ignores hindering terrain, ignores characters, so he's basically able to hit everybody. Uh, then he has uh, two traits, which are uh, the first one's Dark Knight Returns, not hiding anymore. When Green Arrow occupies clear terrain, he can use sidestep, and opposing characters can't draw a line of fire to him unless they are within three squares of him, or he has two action tokens. So pretty cool there. And then uh, his other trait is it still hurts when it's cold. Green Arrow can't make ranged attack when he has one action token. Um, so not so great there but still i mean uh the special on his attack makes it worth it which is when green arrow hits with a ranged attack the hit target can't use defensive powers until the next turn if the hit target has the kryptonian keyword also give it an action token so you're able to just ignore stock clicks ignore any defensive power that character can use and it's just it wipes people clean um, and the ability to deal five damage means you can take out Unimine, you can take out the Wolverines and stuff like that of, of today. It's just, it's a really good figure. It, you know, Beta Ray Bill we just talked about. This is a really great equalizer figure. Lost a little bit of his luster with the retirement of the Green Arrow ID card, but still a worthy figure to main force, which is why he's on this list. Next up on this list, we have Biz Arrow, the chase from Joker's Wild. Um, He's just really been a solid, a solid figure that uh, gets attacked. Uh, that's that's not been as popular, but I think if we start seeing a lot of mass two and three click figures, and we see Hawkeye rise up again, then we're gonna see this guy again. Um, which is uh, so he's fifty points, has a zero range, um, has a seven move with sidestep, eleven attack, seventeen defense with invulnerability, and one damage. Um, his trait is uh, me, the world's greatest archery target. When an adjacent friendly character would be the target of a ranged attack, Biz Arrow, uh, Biz Green, Bizarro Green Arrow, uh, becomes the target instead, even if he would be an illegal target. So, um, you know, you're just able to absorb all those attacks um, from an opposing character so if you want to keep somebody on your main force alive a little longer you want to give them a few extra clicks basically uh you threw biz arrow on your team to help you out um and he has a uh, special on his defense which is called an imperfect body stop bizarre biz arrow can use toughness so you would have to at least hit him three times uh if you were able to do penetrating damage to get through uh, those first four clicks uh pretty quickly and then uh, the other special on his damage is uh, Bizarro Range Combat Expert. When Biz, uh, Bizarro Green Arrow is the target of a ranged attack, you may give Bizarro Green Arrow an action token to modify the attacker's attack value minus two, its damage value by minus two, or both combat values by minus one. So basically taking away uh, stats from your opponent. It's still really good. I would like to see him uh, resurge before he uh, retires. I'm not sure that I'm going to see it, but I still think he's one of the 10 best chase figures available in modern age. Next up on this list, we have Chase Green Lantern from the Batman the Animated Series set. Uh, has um, two different point values. Uh, we're going to look uh, right now just for display purposes. We have the 70 point one up. Um, however, I would never run any of these guys at that. I would only run them at their blue starting lines uh, for their trouble alert uh, tokens. So why he's here for the trouble alert, um, he can give you a Cairo token, which has a 14 defense with uh, defend and a zero damage for support. So you're able to get a, a support figure in. You're able to have an enhancer. You're able to have a TKer. He's able to do barrier. And then he's also able to, on his next two clicks, do running shot pulse wave, which is always good. Uh, so he brings just a ton of options to the table. If you have him on your sideline, he didn't cost you any points. Um, he's just a great addition to this chase list. And rounding out this list, we have Chase Firestorm from the Batman the Animated Series Hero Click set. Um, so again, uh, like Green Lantern, I wouldn't main force this guy, um, but uh, for his trouble alert, he's really good. Um, so he comes in on a uh, eight movement with a sidestep, ten attack with energy explosion, seventeen defense with toughness, three damage with probability control. Um, and he also has a seven range with dual target, has a flight ability, so he's able to help you, uh, 
you know, extract some characters, able to get you some rerolls, and then if he does take damage and ends up on his uh, one of his last two clicks, he has a special perplex, which is uh, to modify any. Uh, value except for damage plus two or minus two which is really great and again you're just bringing them in for free um so that is the final figure on this list all right guys that is my full top 10 list for modern age hero clicks chase figures let me know in the comments below what uh, some of your favorite chases are really enjoy reading those um keeps the uh you know, it gets me excited to see other people's opinions. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a share. It really helps keep me motivated to make these videos. And that's all I have for you today. As always, please remember that it's only critical miss if you don't have probability control.